I just wanted to do a quick video just to, to thank you guys, but also to ask you a question about the future of the channel and some of my content and things like that. Um, but first off, before I get started, I just wanted to tell you guys how fun it's been to watch um, all of all of this movement, this not, this anti-social justice, um, you know, trademark version movement in Christianity um, gain momentum. You know, we've been we've been very successful at controlling this narrative. There's no question about it, and we're forcing the woke church into a lot of unforced errors forcing into unforced errors. That doesn't make sense, but we're forcing them into making big mistakes. <laughs> you know, you know, typically as a rule, Big Eva doesn't name names because I think one of the reasons why they don't is because they don't want you to be able to check um, their, 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 the sources, in other words, to check out what if, just to make sure that, that what they're saying about people is true. But we're seeing them uh, change that rule up. In fact, I, th I saw Thabiti Anya Willie today sharing a thread about how Tom Nettles with the Founders Ministry is like a racist or something like that. And that's going to be so easy to refute. It's just unbelievable. You know, in the past, they would hide the fact that they were for reparations, um, but now they're openly openly for reparations. And and they have to do this. I mean, this is not something that, you know, they, they, they could avoid doing. They, they, they really have no good options to go forward. I mean, their movement is based on a lie. And so, of course, no matter what they do, we're going to be able to nail them on it. But it's just been so fun to watch um, Big Eva really squirm. You know, Marcus Pittman did a video about how, you know, Big Eva content is terrible and it doesn't get any engagement unless we talk about it, which is exactly the place you want to be if you're trying to control the narrative and control the conversation. So let me just say from the bottom of my heart, thank you for that, because, you know, one guy on YouTube isn't going to be able to, to do this kind of thing. Two guys on YouTube isn't going to be able to do this kind of thing. It takes the people in the pews being willing to say no more of this nonsense. I don't consent. I don't consent to your insanity anymore. It takes you guys. And so thank you for that. But on a more personal note, I just wanted to thank you um, just for the support that I've been getting. And it really, um, it means a lot. It means a lot. You know, this year has been difficult for a lot of people. And, you know, the job that I do for a living, it's very dependent on the job market and people, employers hiring and stuff like that. And so when the economy tanked, it was a very big deal for, for my family. And I didn't really mention this, you know, on the channel that much, but it became harder, harder to find clients. And, um, and I got to say, it was, it was concerning. There's no question about it. I started to have to do twice as much work for half the result. And um, the good thing about being self-employed is that you, you go, you, you do what you have to do to, to, to close the deals. And so I did that, but uh, it was a struggle. I was just actually looking, today's tax day. So I was looking at my income for the year and, and, and what's due today and stuff like that. Um, and I gotta say guys, like, like right around when the economy started turning and it became more difficult to do my normal job, um, the channel started taking off and I started getting more ad revenue and I started getting a lot more support on Patreon. Um, so guys, thank you. Um, you made this year a lot easier for me. Um, it would have been a lot more stressful and you know, you guys got some of the benefit of that because I was, if, if, if I hadn't gotten the support, I would not have been able to do as many videos as I've done. There's no question about it. I probably would have done half as many, um, th than I've done. And I just have to say from the bottom of my heart, um, from a personal perspective, thank you for that. And I know, I know God's providing through some of you guys, you know, um, it doesn't, my life doesn't have to be easy, but you know, it just, it just made it easier to continue doing this content. And so you've had an impact um, on this particular channel and you're having an impact on the movement at large. We are controlling the narrative guys. There's just no question about it. We're controlling the conversation now. Look at me. I'm the captain now. <laughs> just kidding. Uh, but anyway, um, but yeah, so, but just, just so you know, you know, the job market, at least for the jobs that I fill, um, has been getting better and I've been able to put some good deals together the last month or so. And so I thank God for that. And so just, just so you know, um, uh, again, I didn't, I didn't want to tell everybody at the time cause it's like, I wasn't like hurting for money, but like, you know, I just, I just thank you so much because again, right. It's, it's just, it's just amazing how this works. Like right when, you know, my, my, my real job was kind of becoming more difficult and the numbers started going this way, the support started going this way to make that transition a little bit easier. So thank you so much for that. Um, anyway, the question I have for you is I've been kind of noodling with the idea of doing some live streams. And I mean like, you know, maybe a couple a week 
live streams where I'll do the super chat thing. And so, you know, you guys can support me that way and I'll make sure to answer your questions and all that kind of stuff. I'm still going to answer all the Patreon questions that come in. In fact, I'm going to send a a message out to all y'all in a little bit. But um, what do you think? Do you think I should do some live streaming? Because because I could get into some trouble trouble doing some live streaming because you can't edit it. And so if you say something stupid, you know, then, you know, that, that could that could be fun. That could be fu- spicy. So what do you think? Should I do some live streaming? I don't know. I, I'm toying with the idea. I mean, live streaming can go south very, very quickly. I think I have the skill set for it. I think I would be good at it. But I don't know. So let me know in the comment section if you think I should do uh, live streaming or at least give it a shot on YouTube or Facebook or something like that. If you would enjoy that kind of content and be able to kind of control what I talk about a little bit through the super chat and all that kind of thing, uh, let me know because I'll give it a shot. Anyway, uh, again, thank you guys so much. I just wanted to just get on here and say that. And um, seriously, um, anything I can ever do for you, shoot me an email. I can't promise to answer every one of them, um, but I'll certainly do my best to try. Anyway, um, hope this video was helpful. God bless.